Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Ariel coming to you with another lesson. And today, I'm just going to go into the scriptures real quick. It's going to be a quick lesson, but, you know, it's about people that say that you can't judge them. You know, this is what this little quick lesson is about, man. You know, because I'm tired of people saying that, oh, only God can judge me. Which, you know, God, we all know God is not his name. It's just a title, man. His name is Yahweh. But people love to say that, man. Be why? Because they want to stay in their iniquity and they want to keep doing what they're doing, you know. So it is what it is, man. But sometimes I, it, it, it just gets tired. It's just... It's, it's get, it gets old, man, when you hear people say that shit. Don't judge. You can't judge me. You can't judge. Like, that shit is a pain in the ass, man. You know? So, I'm going to get into it, man. I ain't going to bore you with my with my talk. Okay? This is Deuteronomy chapter 1. Verse, uh... I'm going to start at, uh, start at 13, okay? Take you, wise men, and understanding, and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And ye answered me and said, The thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men, and known, and made them heads over you, Captains over thousands and captains over hundreds and captains over fifties and captains over tens and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, the ju and judge righteously between every man and his brother and the stranger that is with him. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of a man, for the judgment is the most highest. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me and I will hear it. All right? So, you know, this is Moses I'm talking to the Israelites right here, man. You know? So, for people saying, oh, you can't judge me. Yo, judgment is in the Bible, man. Not, not just judgment from from the most high, the heavenly father, but from men as well, man, men judging other men, man. And, and, you know, the elder, I mean, big brother, Manata, Manata Zakba says it all the time. There's a book of judges in the Bible for a reason, like, <laughs> you know, but I don't know, man. People just, uh, be all over the place with it. They just say what they want to say. People just talk cause they got lips, man. You know, most people don't even understand What's really coming out their mouth, man? They just be talking. And this is, uh, I'm going to go to John. I'm going to go to John uh, 7, man. And 20... Let me see. Okay. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to start at 21, man. Okay. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers, and ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry at me? Because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment, man. Right? And that's basically, you know, just speaking about people that say that you know if you don't look a certain way then you know you're not an israelite or whatever like that you know but we're supposed to judge judge the spirit 
you know, not, not according to the flesh, you know? So that's another form of judgment, man, you know? That's righteous judgment, you know? Unrighteous judgment will be someone that smokes weed, you know, and then goes up to another group of people that's smoking weed and telling them, yo, you shouldn't be smoking weed. Well, you know, you smoking it, you know? So how you going to tell them not to smoke, man? That's unrighteous judgment, man. You know, but us and his truth, we are able to judge because we turn our back on this world, man. We've emptied, we emptied our cup and we filled it up with this righteousness and with this word, man. And we live by this word. And we live by these commandments, man. So we're able to go out there and tell people, you shouldn't be doing this or you shouldn't be doing that. It's not like we trying to control people. It's out of love, man. We trying to help you, man. That's it. We're not looking down on you like we're better than you. We don't think that way, man. Us as Israelite men, you know? We coming to you humbly, man. We're doing it out of love. We don't want to see you get destroyed, man. And that's our job. It's to judge. But judge righteously, man. Not proudly. Not looking down on people. But judging righteously, man. And people just, you know, they just can't, they, they don't, they don't understand that, man. It does not, it doesn't, doesn't resonate with them, man. I'm gonna go to Corinthians, man. First Corinthians. And I'm gonna start out, uh, I'm gonna go to second, second, uh, chapter. And I'm going uh, to start at verse 1, man. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Hold up. Hold on, Salaki. Is that the right one? Oh, uh, Salakia. That's not what I wanted. I wanted uh <laughs> excuse me. I feel like doing this doing it all over again. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. I'ma start at thirteen. Salakia, man. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. Comparing spirit spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. For who have known the mind of the Lord, Yahweh, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of the anointed, man. Right? It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for we are foolishness unto him, for they are foolishness unto him, Salakia. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned, man. Right? So when you go into that word, that 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 means like to uh I believe it means to examine. Matter of fact, to like examine or let me see. Let's let's go on to that, man. I 
It's uh, anacrino. Yeah, examine or judge to investigate, examine, inquire into, scrutinize, sift, question. Specifically in a forensic sense of a judge to hold an investigation. To interrogate, examine the accused or witnesses. To judge of, estimate, determine the excellence of. Or defects of any person or thing, man. Sheesh. You know? And that's what we do. That's what we do. And when we do it, we cut people's spirit, man. They don't want to hear it, man. You know? They don't want to hear it, man. Most of these people out here do not want to uh, be before righteous judgment, man. Because it cuts their spirit, man. Most people... Do not want to take a look at themselves and change for the better and change back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They don't want that, man. They want to keep living in this world, thinking they have free will, doing whatever with whoever. You know? That's what they want, man. I'm going to jump to to the sixth chapter and uh, Salakia for that little. Uh, little mishap back there, okay, it's a little late, I'm tired, no excuses, but like I said, Salakia for that, okay, we had, uh, six, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, start at verse one, man, dare any of you having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. Right? So... This is basically right here speaking about judgment uh, between the Israelites, not necessarily judging the other nations, which we all know that's something that we'll do when um, when the kingdom comes. You know, Lord willing, I'm of the elect and all, all brothers hope, Lord willing, that they're of the elect as well. You know, if we are, Lord willing, um, we'll be able to judge the other nations, you know, in righteousness, man. But this particular one isn't talking about that. Because if you go into the interlinear, again, under cosmos, you know, it says an apt or harmonious arrangement or constitution, order or government, man. Okay, so the, har the harmonious arrangement is the arrangement or the covenant that the Most High made with the Israelites, you know. So this right here, if you go into this, will debunk that John three sixteen. So so uh, the Most High loved the world that every every Christian wants to pull out, man. No, the world is the world of Israel, man. But that's another lesson. I, I believe I did a lesson on that already. I don't know, right? Salakia. But um, like I said, this is going to be a quick one. I'm going to go to Isaiah 32. I'm going to finish this one off. Okay. Isaiah 32. Yeah, here we go. Okay. And and this, this, this particular part of the chapter that I'm about to read is talking about them people I was talking about. Them people that don't want to hear righteous judgment, man. The people that just want to keep doing what they want to do. Right? It's some stiff-necked people, man. You know? It says, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind, in a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of great rock in a weary land. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, 
and the ears of them that hear shall be shall hearken. Right? The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammering shall be ready to speak plainly. Okay, but this is what I was talking about before I started reading. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The instruments also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. But the liberal devises liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. Right? And that word liberal meaning princely things, man. Right? I believe. Let's just go into it real quick. Why not? The word liberal. I believe it's, it's prince, princely. No? Oh, no, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, incline, willing, nobly. Noble, Salakia. Incline, willing, noble, generous, you know, princely. You know? But like I said, man, these people, they, they, they don't want to hear... You know, most, most people don't want to hear what you have to say when it comes to righteousness, man. Because they're embedded in darkness, man. You know, we, we are the light, they are the dark, man. You know, we're the moist bones, they're the dry bones, man. That's just what it is. But it's our job to go out there and tell people, you know, and warn them, man. Because if not, then their blood is on our hands, man. So our job is to go out there and wash his blood off our hands, man. Regardless of how they take it, that's how they take it. But at the end of the day, if you let them know what's what, your job is done, man. End of story. Okay? So we can judge, man. But we can only judge righteous judgment. So we can't judge you. We can judge people, man. Okay? So with that, I want to say... Call Hello Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect, and much respect to the brothers, pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you sisters out there doing the right thing, man, in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Ariyah. Shalom.